Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So if we have a 10 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 5 plus square root of 8, uh, we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. Uh, so here the very first step we are going to do is here first we uh, we will just make the pair of two terms so this is our one term and this is the second term so here according to the division of these terms we will just uh, uh, we just rationalize this term uh, according to these two values so that here we just change the sign and it is multiplied and divided by here it will be written as 10 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 8 and plus sorry, sorry square root of 5 plus square root of 8 and it is multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 and it is divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8. So here we need to multiply uh, the numerator term with the denominator. So we have 10 times of uh, square root of 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 5 minus uh, square root of 8 divided by. Here we can apply the algebraic formula. So we have uh, if you consider this is our a and this is our b again this is our a and this is our b. So you have a plus b times of a minus b. So it is equals to a square minus b square. So we have square root of 3 plus square root of 5 whole square minus this is we have square root of 8 and its whole square. So when you combine the square of these two terms, it will be written as in this form. Okay. So that now in the next step here, we need to focus on this term only. So here we can apply the square identity. You know that if you have a plus b whole square, it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. So here according to this formula, we can expand this term and it will be written as 10 times of a square root of 3 plus a square root of 5 minus a square root of 8 divided by we write this term as a square plus two times of a b so here our a is square root of three and b is square root of five and b square so b is square root of five and its whole square minus you see that this two and square root are gone and we get here eight only so now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as 10 times of square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 divided by you see here this 2 and square root are gone and we will obtain here 3 plus here in the next step uh, we just write these terms as 2 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 5 plus these 2 and square root are gone and we get 5 and this is our minus 8 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as 10 times of square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 divided by this is 3 plus 5 becomes 8 plus this is 2 times of square root of 3 into square root of 5 minus 8 now you see here this is negative 8 and positive 8 are cancelled out by each other and we get here the remaining values are 10 times of square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 divided by this is uh, here we cancelled uh, you first write 2 times of square root of 3 into square root of 5 so now we cancel this 2 and 5 uh, so after cancellations it will be written as uh, 5 times of square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 divided by square root of 3 into square root of 5. So here we can break this 5 as, uh, here we write this 5 as square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 5. Uh, and we have the remaining terms are square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8. It is divided by 3 times of square root of 5. So this square root of 5 cancelled out by this square root of 5. And we get the remaining values are here we obtain square root of 5 into square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 
divided by square root of 3 only so now here in order to uh, remove this square root of 3 from the denominator term uh, here we need to multiply and divide by square root of 3 so uh, here we multiply this square root of 3 with all of these values and it will be written as we multiply these two values here okay so first we can write it as a square root of 5 into square root of 3 we combine these two terms and we get the remaining terms are square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 divided by this is square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 will be written as a square root of 3 and its whole square uh, so these two and square root are gone uh, and we will obtain here the next values are here we, we can multiply these two terms on, on each of these values it will be written as a square root of 5 into square root of 3 and this is a square root of 3 plus when we multiply these two terms here it will be written as a square root of 5 into square root of 3 into square root of 5 minus when you multiply these terms here it will be written as a square root of 5 into square root of 3 into square root of 8 and it is divided by 3 only and now here in the next step uh, you see here we will just multiply the same terms so we have this is square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 is written as a square root of 3 and its whole square when you multiply square root of 5 and square root of 5 it will be written as a square root of 5 and its whole square multiplied by square root of 3 and here we will just uh, combine all of these values uh, and it will be written as a uh, square root of 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 8 it is divided by 3 only so here because we write our answer into the simplified form so uh, that's why we rewrite these terms as so this 2 and square root are gone and we get here 3 times of square root of 5 plus this 2 and square root are gone and we get 5 times of square root of 3 minus here we write uh, this 8 as 4 times of 2 so it will be written as 5 3 is 15 and we write uh, 8 as 4 multiplied by 2 and it is divided by 3 so here we get the square root of 4 is equals to 3 times of square root of 5 plus 5 times of square root of 3 minus here we know that the square root of 4 equals to 2 into uh, we have 15 times of 2 equals to 30 and it is divided by 2. So this is the our final simplified form of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.